morning, good morning, good morning. Oh no, wait a minute. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> that is it, evenings or mornings or nights. How are you guys doing? This is Visit Mima. And this is the first time you've come to see me visit with your Mima. I want to welcome you and hope that you do subscribe. I live alone and I'm a shut-in. Uh, so therefore my world revolves around my apartment and my little courtyard and my YouTube community. If you want to be a part of that community, just subscribe. There's many of uh, wonderful subscribers. We all communicate with each other and share what we've done and just enjoy the community of YouTube. This is really what we do. We are crocheters uh, and we are from different parts of the world. And that makes it a wider community than uh, than we have from, like me, from my little apartment in Arkansas in the USA. Welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. I do broadcast every day if my health pre uh, prevents me from doing that. Then occasionally I miss a day, but otherwise I do one every morning may not get up till after lunch when I mean get it up to YouTube until after lunch is according to what's going on in my life but I always want to hear from my subscribers because it's like I have extended family out there uh, in YouTube world <laughs> and I want to read first this morning our subscriber comments which I try to read every morning, every day. And the first one, our comments from today, today's Sunday, and we've got a message from Jill, Robert W. Heights. Jill writes, Howdy, Mima. The basket I made is eight and a half inches wide and nine and a half inches high. I'm going to try to get four made, taking time in between to rest my fingers. <laughs> I'm still working on making applesauce. Laugh out loud. Love you, Mima. <laughs> and I did check out Palamas, Palamas Adoring Crochet. And she's got some beautiful things out there. If y'all, any of y'all are interested, I think if you're not already subscribed to her, you would enjoy her videos. Uh, Jill mentioned it to me, so I went right out there and checked it out. And very, very, very pleasing vi videos out there. She's very good at tutorials, which is something I'm not. Uh, but I will encourage you every day. And it's so good to hear from you, Jill. Yes, I got up this morning and it was 80 degrees already. Now that means we're gonna have a hotter day. It's a little warm front coming in. But I have enjoyed these 70 mornings, 70 degree weather here. No rain, no rain. Hadn't had rain in a while. Oh, and here's from Mrs. C's Cottage. Hi, Mrs. C. Went to the post office and mailed off some packages, then went to the bank for deposit. Had to vacuum the leftover yarn ends. <laughs> Leaving Tuesday for the frozen tundra of the north for a visit with my sisters. Then home again, home again. Jiggity jig. <laughs> Jiggity jig. Well, let me tell you about this and see. She doesn't leave much under her feet. She's always going. <laughs> Jiggity jig. I love that, Mrs. C. Oh, going to the frozen tundra of the north. <laughs> From Florida. <laughs> yeah, you're funny. Oh, my goodness, goodness. Daniel Fontaine. And then you can 
if you don't, if you haven't checked out his channel, check out his channel. Hello, hello from Montreal. Yes, I didn't receive the lavender. I got mixed up on the delivery date. It will be the 23rd of this month. Yesterday, the delivery was an extension for my Apple phones. <laughs> Say love me. <laughs> oh, well, you got to have your extension earphones. You don't want to miss anything, do you, Daniel? <laughs> Oh, here's Joy Bird. So glad to watch and hear from you again today. I keep a check on my phone waiting for your video. Just love them. My name is Teresa, and I started using Joy Bird uh, in the early 90s on everything on computers. <laughs> I've been calling you Joy Bird. Can I continue to call you Joy Bird? <laughs> I like it. I think it's fun. It sounds like a little joyful little bird. I love it, Teresa. And here's Maribel. Hi, Mima. Yes, my son is in town until Wednesday morning. We will be driving him several hours to the airport. It's a beautiful day today. The weather is just perfect. Celebrating my niece's 15th birthday today. Hopefully, we'll see my three sisters and my daughter. My son has a friend's wedding today, so likely won't see much of him. Hope you have an awesome day. Well, it sounds like you're just going to be busy, busy, busy. And that's fun. And that's fun. Good to hear from you and hi to your son and your family. <laughs> and here's Bonnie Myers. Have a great day. May God bless you and hold you in the palm of his hands. You know what? That's the first time. First time Bonnie wasn't the first one. Let me double check. She surely ah. <laughs> I miss Bonnie's. <laughs> Hers was the first one. <laughs> Bonnie, you just you just have to be first, don't you? <laughs> yes, I watch you at night while crocheting. The roadkill cook-off is in West Virginia. It is very hard to please people. They actually have people who cook things that could be killed on the road, such as bear, coon, deer, snake, possum, and things like that. People sign up to taste it. I do the craft part. I call both my boys and my baby girl, and I always will. <laughs> yes, I call mine too, baby. They don't like it, but I call them. They're just our babies, aren't they, Bonnie? That's just the way it is. So if any of you are in West Virginia and you've never been to the Roadkill Cookout, <laughs> I know the, the name is awesome, right? <laughs> but they just have, as they said, she said, uh, they actually have people who cook things that could be killed on the road, such as, and then they have bear, coon, deer, snake, possum, and things like that. And people sign up to taste. I do the craft part, Bonnie said. So if you go, check out Bonnie's booth. She's the crocheter and she's making hoodies right now. <laughs> Amongst other things, I'm sure. <laughs> But anyway, check it out. It's the 24th of September in West Virginia. Just go to uh, Google. Just Google it and say, you know, Roadkill Cook-Off in West Virginia on the 24th of September. And it'll give you all the information. Have fun and let me know if you taste any Roadkill stuff that could be killed on the road. <laughs> well, thank you for your many comments this morning. I'm, I'm, I'm still crocheting on this uh, blanket, baby blanket that uh, is in the staple, shape of a five, five-pointed star, and it's a granny, granny stitch, as you can tell. 
and basically I'm running out of yarn of the ones that I'm using so I may start go ahead and finishing off with whatever I have left just start with the white and see how it goes and uh, but I the colors are not my favorite <laughs> but after a while any color becomes boring to me <laughs> but um, I'm going to continue to work on this and then I uh, then start something else but today I'm going to add um, this cream color and I don't know I just go as I as, as long as I have the ones that are in the rhythm of the theme I'm going with, I'll do that. I don't know, I may save that for the end and put this in a cream color. That way it'd be pretty cream with a trim that matches this. I think I'm gonna try that. What do you think? I think it's a good idea. A good, good idea. Oh, got one more. <laughs> I guess I'll save that comment for tomorrow. That's just the way it is. Well, I'm going to go ahead and crochet and have my morning coffee. Because that's just the kind of morning I have. I don't even have a fun story this morning. No. I, I have a story, but it's, I don't know if I can finish it in <laughs> You know, you have one of those stories you go off. Oh, I wanted to point out. Look at my cute little headband. Isn't that cute? No, you can't really see it. I think it probably goes on the side like this. Somebody has been sending me a pink pewter box. And in it are all these cute little things. Look at this little bracelet. Now, I don't know who it's come from. I don't know if you can see it or not, can you? A little brace. It's just really a piece of cloth with some um, beautiful jewels on it. It's called a uh, pink pewter. This is the second box I've received from them. And so I don't know who's responsible, but I'm enjoying them <laughs> very much. But isn't that pretty? It's um, uh, I don't know if you can see what it is or not, but it's quite beautiful. And I love beautiful things. And you know, yesterday <laughs> I broke that bracelet. Well, I picked up the very last uh, ball of that bracelet I broke yesterday. That's a bracelet I always used to wear on my ankle or my wrist, according to which were hurting the worst, because it's got little magnets in it. But yesterday I broke it, so there was little beads everywhere. Beads everywhere. I did capture most of the beads, especially the, the metallic one. No, the magnetic ones. They all stuck together. They're like us, community. We all stick together like magnets on a bracelet and that's a stupid song Barbara <laughs> but that's what you're gonna do today is it <laughs> well I want to thank you guys for stopping by this morning we're gonna have a great day because that's just the kind of folks we are we like having a happy day and if we're not happy and we don't get out of bed then we won't get out of bed till we get ready to because we can do whatever we want to do because we've worked hard all our lives and we're retired. <laughs> Except there are some, you know, some folks out there that are subscribers that are still working and, and uh, someday, if this is what you want. <laughs> of course, I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm very happy. And if I'm not, I barely laugh until I get happy. And, uh, getting on YouTube every morning and reading your comments is quite a gift to me and and I am so selfish that way that I do appreciate it so much. You, you just like folks that I know that live in next door. Next door. 
Well, remember, God has you in the palm of his hand. Pray, pray for our bumblebees. They need our help. Our butterflies, caterpillars, and for each other because we are all on this wor world together. We share it and we need to take care of it. And you just have a great day because you are special. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.